Hello guys! Isn't it fun to live in Thailand? We all enjoy its beautiful weather, warmth, amazing food and how friendly Thai people are. But have you ever thought how much struggle it is to be a Thai woman, especially if you're a single mother? My name is Dasha and last year I was working in Bangkok and I became friends with a really nice Thai girl named Titima. She was working as a freelance guide. So at some point she got pregnant and uh, her boyfriend ran away with her money and she doesn't have parents. She was raised by her grandmother that she now has to take care of. And because of her, I found out few very strange things. Did you know that in Thailand they don't have paternity law. It means fathers are not obliged to support children financially. They don't pay alimony. And another thing, in contrast to very wealthy European countries where single mothers and their children are supported by welfare, in Thailand there is no welfare system for situations like this. It means if you don't have a husband or parents and if you get pregnant, it means you're screwed. I was trying to help my friend Titima, so I investigated a lot about what's going on in Thailand. It turned out that there's two and a half millions of single mothers in Thailand, and the majority of them live beyond poverty level. Another thing, as the amount of orphans in orphan houses is growing each year, and now it's around 1 million and 200,000 children in orphan houses. And the number one reason why parents are giving their children to orphanages because they cannot provide for a baby. They cannot survive with a baby on their hands. And did you know that only 10% of kids that grew up in orphan houses, they socialize and they succeed in life. 90% of them, they fail in life, they become drug addicts, they go to slavery, all the horrible things happen to them because they grew up without parents. Studies show that it's three times cheaper to support a single mother with a baby than an orphan in orphan house. So my suggestion is let's support one struggling mother right now. Titima is eight months pregnant and the thing is since she doesn't have a job right now because she cannot work obviously because she's deeply pregnant she cannot afford a delivery. That's right, it is not provided. I mean, what kind of a world we live in that mothers cannot afford to give a birth? I want to change that and I hope you help us with that. So right now she needs 30,000 baht for their labor and 20,000 baht more to survive one or two months after she gives birth. There's around 50,000 people in this group. It will take only one baht from each of us to cover all of it. Or it will take only 500 people to donate 100 baht. Like, this is nothing. This is like, we don't even notice this 100, but it will change her life. It will save her baby, give her some time that she can spend with him. Or we need 50 people to donate 1,000 baht and she'll be saved. It's very easy. You just go to your banking application and send this money to her account that is in the post. So how do you know we're not scammers and we're not gonna run away to Mexico with this money? First of all, it makes no sense because it's hot there as well. I will give you a follow-up on this story. We will show you where do we put the money so you know that your donation really worked. You can ask me, why should we help her where so many people in this world struggling so much more? I understand your point, but this is just the person I know that is struggling. And if we help her, that's gonna be a good start. And if each of us help one person that is struggling, I think it will be enough and the world can become a much better place. 
Thank you for watching. Please put your likes, comments, and please, please donate because otherwise I don't know how she's gonna make it. If you really feel that compassion, that urge to help her, please don't postpone it. Don't scroll to the next topic, do it right now because if you scroll to the next thing, you will forget it. That's what I do all the time. So please do that now. We don't have time. She has only a couple of weeks before she gives birth. And by the way, it's a boy and she wants to name him Cooper. So let's help Cooper to see the world all together.